from right here in beautiful Cologne, Germany. Exclusive. Today we're here to announce that there's a brand new group of games joining the Xbox Game Pass Corral. Coming to Game Pass PC, Game Pass Console and Game Pass Ultimate on August the 22nd, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yes. The things joining Game Pass that same day, it's the wildly frenetic smash em up, 8 out. We've got three games launching into Xbox Game Pass today. That's today. So Age of Empires Definitive Edition, the best-selling real-time strategy game now in 4K. <laughs> Joining Xbox Game Pass for consoles this very day, Stellaris, the Epic Space 4X Grand Strategy game. Get ready to dust off that download button because starting today, Devil May Cry 5 joins in the Game Pass spot. Yes. Starting today, Dell Alienware Arena members can claim a free 30-day Xbox Game Pass for PC beta code. New and existing Dell Alienware Arena members, head over to the link below for more information. The Human Fall Flat, the quirky physics-based puzzle platform and Game Pass classic title has new free DLC for both PC and console coming very, very soon. Ooh. It's slated to hit consoles and PCs in late August. But if, like me, you can't wait to get your hands on the remastered Age 2 Definitive Edition, your wait is almost over. Because today, we're happy to announce that it's launching November 14th for PC and Xbox Game Pass for PC, and it's available to pre-order right now. As today, we're excited to announce that Gears Pop will be available starting August 22nd. No, so I'm very excited to introduce the first trailer of the NBA 2K My Career Story. So today, we're excited to show you the first glimpse into Ghost War, the competitive multiplayer experience. Check this out. with intense tactical matches, an extensive shared progression system, and dedicated servers, double plus bonus, a battle royale style circle encroaching on the battlefield. Find out when Ghost War launches on October the 4th with the full game. Plus, if you pre-order Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you get access to the beta starting September the 5th. Well, joining me now is managing producer for narrative at Gearbox, Randy Varnell. Welcome to Inside Hello. Xbox. So Borderlands 3 carries on that carries on that tradition. It's a continuation of the story. At the end of Borderlands 2, he left off with a map to the stars, the vault map, uh, talking about new places that vaults will be scattered across the universe. So mm -hmm. Borderlands 3, our, our, our players get to jump in, uh, jump in the roles of new vault hunters mm -hmm. and hunt down those vaults across multiple planets in the universe. So for the first time ever in the Borderlands universe, we're going to get off Pandora and get to other places and hunt down those treasures hidden away in those secret alien vaults. Uh Flack, we are happy to talk about, is a pure yes. pet class. Mm -hmm. uh, Flack has a choice between three different animals that he can that, that Flack can call out. Uh, he's got a jabber, which is kind of a monkey with a gun. Uh -huh. uh, there's a spider ant, and then a skag that just rolls around. And, and it's does. been confirmed we can pet the skag. You we? can pet yeah. the skag, we and the, the, the skag responds to that. <laughs> but Flack is really cool. So you have your choice of which which pet that you want. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like we've done with a lot of the Vault Hunters in Borderlands 3, a lot of different ways to customize and make that character your own, right? So not not only do you get to choose which pet, but Flack gets to choose on top of that which action skill you use. Mm -hmm. So uh, Flack has one where you can supercharge the pet. So as the pet's out and doing things, you can it's called Gamma Burst. You can make the pet kind of nice. swell up. Yeah. yeah. Get all swole <laughs> and you know, go take down yep. other, other things. Uh, uh, Flack can also do a thing called Rack Attack, where he literally pulls rack, we call it rack, you know, pocket rack. He pulls rack from his pocket to like, flying creatures, go. right? <laughs> and they, they run out and do damage. But Flack also has a stealth type of ability. So mm -hmm. if you like to let your pets do the action, you want to hang back and kind of, yeah, play there. Mm -hmm. Flack can kind of ghost out of existence uh -huh. and, and then let the, the pets do all the work. Well, the Calypsos are big and bad enough that they have finally unified all the bandit clans on, mm -hmm. on Pandora and have rebranded them, the Children of the Vault. Oh, the yeah. COV, you'll see those signs everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the way they do that is the Calypso twins are streamers. The Calypso twins kind of want the same thing you want. They want the vault. So from the very beginning of Borderlands 3, the Calypso twins are going to be in your face. They're going to be they're going to be trying to stop you on that 
hunt to the vaults to get get kind of off the planet to the other vaults. Right. But right. we've already <laughs> talked about a sort of you start on Pandora, uh -huh. which we've been before, and there's a good some good gameplay there. We've talked about Promethea, mm -hmm. which is the big city planet, a big yep. urban area with huge buildings, and there's a there's a big corporate war going on between two of our big corporations, Maliwan and Atlas. And then we've also talked to E3 about uh, about uh, Eden Six, a big swampy jungle planet. I call it Space Florida or Space Louisiana. You know, it's just a full of full of jungles and dinosaurs and all sorts of stuff. And and there might be even some more surprises around the corner, but right. I don't want to spoil what? everything. Yeah, that's. We've upgraded Aaron Gale with a higher visual fidelity, including some major landmarks, such yeah. as multi power and the military bases. Yes, uh, season four also introduces Survivor Pass 4 Aftermath, which allows players to unlock over 100 rewards. These rewards showcase the past and the future of Aaron Gale. Yeah. We've also added the cooperative missions, which allows the community to work together towards goals and milestones. As you achieve these milestones together, uh, you'll be able to unlock new rewards. And also, um, you'll be able to uh, swap out missions more easily than previous uh, passes. Yeah. And you can use BP to continue changing them if you're not up to certain tasks. Awesome. Yes, it's one of the things that everyone wanted to have. is cross-platform play for the console. Cross-play! We have a war to win. Are you washed in the blood? part of the show because I get to introduce you to some brand new and never before seen Xbox controllers. What do you think? Yeah! Here they are. Oh, where to start? First up, let's talk about the Night Ops Camo Special Edition controller. And by the way, what a cool name, Night Ops Camo, right? This is the Sport Blue Special Edition controller. And as you can see, it's rocking a blue color scheme with a geometric pattern on the top case. Oh, see! as much information as possible about that. <sighs> yes, on, if breath. you thought what we were announcing and showing here at Gamescom was huge, uh -huh. just wait until you see XO19. What I love about this, it's a celebration of all things Xbox. Mm -hmm. It will be the biggest inside Xbox show of the year. We have yes. tons of stuff we're showing from our internal studios, from third party partners, a lot of big surprises planned, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Inside mm -hmm. Xbox on November 14th, we're doing a three day celebration in London mm -hmm. at the Copper Box Arena. And with the Xbox Summer Spotlight sale, it's never been easier to discover your next favorite game. Right now, through September the 10th, get your hands on more than 60 new titles across the Xbox One family at great prices. Plus, for a limited time, you can earn up to 4,000 Microsoft reward points when you spend $40 on Summer Spotlight titles. Bargain hunt! And with games like No Man's Sky, Overcooked 2, and Vigor on Spotlight, earning those points will be a cool summer breeze. There'll be new games added every week, so make sure to check the Microsoft Store every Tuesday and follow Xbox on Twitter so we can keep you up to date until after the boys of summer have gone. <laughs> we'll start with finishers are very simply another uh, element of the combat, another tool that you'll be able to take into Destiny Combat that lets you finish off an enemy with a flourish when they're at low health. Mm. So you're going to see them get this kind of glow and a dot appear over their head, and you're going to rush in by hitting the finisher button, and you're just going to eliminate them right Look away. Look at the style! It's awesome. That it feels amazing. super great, very satisfying. With Armor 2.0, we're taking a lot of customization and RPG elements and inserting them into the action game. Okay. So once you start digging that system, more things become possible as finishers. All of a sudden, you can say, hey, I'm going to take my artifact, I'm going to earn one of these mods at the end. Yeah. It's a collectible now, it's not a consumable. Uh -huh. And that one right there, probably my favorite one, if you finish an enemy with that mod equipped, you will spawn a heavy ammo brick for your entire fire team. Wow, that's incredible. But it will cost half of your super. When can we play the game? 
<laughs> Play the game on October 1st. Okay, yes. that's not so long. That's not so long. Gears 5, Horde Mode. I feel like Horde is sort of a really large expression of that with five player co op. Every character has its own ultimate ability, its own special ability it can bring to the game that changes how you play. You can look over and see Kate trying to gather power, and you know that she has an ability that to turn herself invisible, so you don't need to worry if she gets in a tough fight. There's also a really big thing called taps now, which are these energy geysers that show up around the map. Because generally, once you find in board, you would like lock in on a particular place and you would defend from that place for the entire 50 waves. Now, in order to get as much power as possible, to get as strong as possible, you actually have to like move and expand your base to go and capture those energy taps. And every 10 waves, once you beat that boss, a new energy tap appears and you have to go and capture it. So it's really changed the dynamic where now it's much more aggressive than it was in the past. For the first time, your character will start with all the cards that they've already equipped, but they will then increase the power of those cards and increase the power of their core abilities over the course of the game. And that progression is then reset, and you can do it again the next game. And this means that every game feels fresh. If you can try it, a different combination of perks that work with your cards in a specific way. Seeing people make a certain build, like here's a Kate build, I use these cards with these perks, and, and here's a Dell build, and I think it will be really exciting to see them mix and match and see these different play styles come together. One of the things that we've done that is subtle but super important is that whenever you pick up power, which is the currency in, in Horde, that power gets equally distributed amongst everyone. And that means that if you see some power on the ground, everyone will want you to pick it up. And then we've added stuff to give more information to the players and things like health bars over uh, bosses and mini bosses. And so there's little feedback mechanisms and it allows you to play differently because now I can see that the mini boss is on very little health. So I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna get aggressive because I know I can do it. Or I can see, oh, they still have a lot, so I'm gonna hold back. To take characters and push them even further, we've added Jackbot as a playable character inside Horde. It's one of the most pivotal roles on the battlefield. Jack can fly anywhere on the map, he can move really quickly, faster than anybody else, he can heal people, repair things, really he's the jack of all trades, and you really want him to be your best buddy. Over time we're gonna add new characters, and with each character we add, the meta will change. If you are a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, you can get Gears 5 on September 6th. For everyone else, the game will be available on September 10th. Hey, let's take a closer look at something Gears fans everywhere are sure to salivate over. It's the limited edition Gears 5 Xbox One X. In reality, there are electronics in this console. There's no way we can put, you know, an omen two inches inside of it. So we had to create an optical illusion that would make it look like there was an omen trapped underneath the ice. We were able to express the idea by laser etching these ice cracks around the omen. We've never laser etched that much before. I mean, the laser etching is all over the console. The, the ice is cracking all over the console. Theming the controller after Kate Diaz was really unnatural because she's like the main character in the game and she is exploring this Arctic environment. She wears um, an Arctic armor, which is new in the game, which was exciting to us. And so we were able to work with Seagate on some amazing five terabyte and two terabyte drives that look basically like mini versions of the console. So it's gonna look perfect right next to it. And we work with Razer on like keyboard and mouse. It's one of the first, I think, wireless keyboard and mouse for the console. And they get a whole family of products that all fit together. Uh, so the first time we're coming to Steam and today you can start pre-ordering today for uh, yes. Here's Five on Steam and there'll be crossplay. So it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, we talked about the Ultimate Edition, we talked about being Ultimate Game Pass, we really didn't really talk about what you get for doing that. Uh, so we're really happy to announce that we're actually putting in uh, two characters from Halo Reach are going to be coming to Gears of War. So we have Cat and Emil. Uh, and so they're going to be coming and they have their own roles, they're going to be playable in Horde and Escape and Versus, and you're going to have their own Ultimates. Dexter! 
how? I mean, uh, we've been working with the folks at Bathing Ape to create mm -hmm. their, uh, they have an ape line that we've, you got a tease of at E3 with our blue. Yeah. Uh, and you can see uh, we're doing it as an in-game as well, so that blue is coming to inside the game uh, that you can wear as part of a case of sort of, uh, you know, the camo outfit. And then we actually do a physical line, which is going to be in red now, our red camo, which is going to be for sale at the ape stores and at, uh, on, I think it's xbox.com here. Stay there. <laughs> I'm just wondering, you know, I just want to get, get my hands on it. I hear a red one, I've got a blue one. I'm, I'm, I need the red. It's a set. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. And it's, it's a different styles than what you saw from the blue at E3 and different designs. And so uh, I was t intending to bring it with me today, but, uh, you know, customs is fun. Gears 5 Ultimate Edition launches September 6th, included on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I am so excited. So who's going to be picking it up on the 6th? Who's going to be playing it? Thank you very much from all of us here in Cologne. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.